Right, hello guys, welcome back to another live commentary video, live commentary llama, back at it again. So today I wanted to make a video on the recluse, uh, basically doing like a first impressions video about the recluse and how it performs in PvE. So I've got myself a bunch of roles, uh, I've got a few here and then I have another one on my hunter. And I basically wanted to uh, go through like some of the main perks you should be looking for on this weapon and just seeing how they perform in like sort of mid to high end content, which is why today we're in the Witch Queen mission, the last chance on Legend mode there's plenty of ads here and it's also somewhat difficult i think it's a minus 15. so i think one thing that everyone wants to know is how is master of arms these days obviously the curated role that you get from the quest from our site comes with feeding frenzy master of arms ricochet rounds this is the exact same as it was back in the day and yeah so let's just see how master of arms performs uh, it was changed as we can see we get a kill we get master of arms for six seconds and it increases our damage by 15 percent Way back when it originally released, it was a 50% buff. So it's obviously gone down quite a bit. And even with our other weapons, so if I just get a kill here with my rocket and swap back to Recluse, I'll get Master of Arms. And I can use it to clear all these ads. It's not too bad. There are other primaries that would do more damage here, if I'm perfectly honest. Like 15% isn't a crazy damage buff, but you know, it's it's okay. It's good enough. Like in, in mid content, sort of mid to sort of low game content, this is going to do you just fine. Uh, especially with like how easy it is to proc Master of Arms. I can just get a kill with my other weapon. Like uh, there's high health targets like these knights. I can just kill them with my rocket. Another thing is that the stats on the recluse aren't actually that good. The uh, handling is okay, but the reload speed is terrible. So we need a reload perk to kind of offset it and improve it. So obviously with the curated role, you get Feeding Frenzy, but there are better options, especially a role with Enlightened Action. So the way that Enlightened Action works is each hit gives you one stack up to a maximum of 12 stacks. And at that 12 stacks, you get plus 50 reload and handling. So if we do, basically, if we just get as many hits as possible, we're already there. It doesn't show on the left side of the screen, but literally after killing a couple ads, we already have that really nice sort of reload speed bonus. It, yeah, it only works for two seconds, but it is noticeable when you're just sort of running around. You know, see, that's so much better there. Like that reload speed, look at that. And now if I just swap to a roll without it, so we go back to the curated one, it's a lot slower. Especially on higher health enemies, you're going to proc this like almost straight away. And it does make the gun feel a lot nicer. That's the main point about Enlightened Action, is that it makes your gun feel nice to use. Now, if we really want to talk about perks that improve the feel of the weapon, we really have to be talking about Frenzy. Because with Frenzy, when you have it activated, it will give you plus 100 reload and plus 100 handling, completely maxing out the stats. Obviously, it takes around 12 seconds to get there, so we'll get there in just a moment. Uh, so let me just kill these ads to get the sort of timer going. We should get it once the wave of ad spawns after the wizard so uh, if I just sort of refresh there we go there we have frenzy so I can just damage the wizard a bit so we have that 15% buff and look at that the weapon feels amazing to use it reloads incredibly quickly and it also does a decent amount of damage obviously exactly the same as master of arms but you don't have to rely on getting a kill it's just always active obviously yes it does take around 12 seconds to get there but as you can just see there it's not really impactful at all it'll just happen you know it's not like you have to go out of your way for it or anything and i personally just because of that reason because it gives you plus 100 handling and reload i'd automatically say that it's better than master of arms simply because of that fact and it stays active the whole time as long as you're taking damage or dealing damage it'll always be active and you can pause it you don't have to be firing all the time i don't actually know what the exact delay is for it to fall off but it just feels nice. Lastly, before we move on to my hunter, I just want to quickly showcase subsistence. You guys all know what this does. It obviously, it wasn't on the recluse before, but it can be a pretty nice option on SMGs just because of how fast they fire and they burn through their ammo. It is like a decent option here. Uh, obviously, as you can see, when I get this kill, it gives me a few bullets back and lets me just fire it for longer. Okay, so now we switched onto my hunter. And the reason for that is because it can get repulsor brace in the third column. And because this is a void weapon, it can obviously benefit from volatile rounds. And what better class is there than hunter with Jeff Falcon's Halberk for volatile rounds. So this is actually where I see the weapon having more of a use versus the other classes, because having obviously you, you guys, you guys know how Jeff Falcon works, right? It's a really good exotic piece of armor. And yeah, I'll just show you. So I can just kind of infinitely loop this infinite invisibility with volatile rounds, especially with my roll because my roll has surrounded on it. 
I can just get one kill, a safe kill on an ad, dip out, get another, I'm back to going invisible, focus the ogre, I have devour, I have invisibility, I have volatile rounds. You guys remember like Witch Queen launch when uh, volatile rounds was in the artifact and uh, especially the other season where it was in as well. It just, it just absolutely wipes the floor with all the ads. Didn't even have to use my special at all. So yeah, it's just, it's just an absolute ad clear machine. And you're so safe doing it as well, having Devour, constant healing, the invisibility, and it does feel really nice. And for this purpose, I think this is the best Void SMG to pair with Jafalcons. And overall, yes, I would say it is the best Void SMG in the game. However, like on other classes, I really don't think it should be your main when things like Forbearance exist, and especially other SMGs that can kind of do things better without the need for a subclass like Hunter, like I know you can get the subjunctive SMG with Vault Shot or, or even the Ikelos SMG with Vault Shot and they can carry their own weight better than I think a Recluse with Master of Arms could if you weren't on a Hunter. So the last perk I wanted to talk about was Desperate Measures. Now, Desperate Measures is a bit of an interesting perk as you're about to see, and it basically functions like Golden Tricorn. So kills with your weapon will provide a bonus to damage and kills with your abilities will also provide a bonus to damage. But when you combine them together, they combine to a more potent damage buff. And basically it works on a three kill basis. So if I show you here, one kill with the weapon will give me Desperate Measures times one. Another ability kill will give me Desperate Measures times 2, and a third ability kill will give me Desperate Measures times 3. And th at this point, you get the maximum buff of 30%. You see, I was hitting for 601 there, and you can extend the buff just by getting kills with the weapon. It fully refreshes it every time, up to the 6 second counter. It isn't, It doesn't last long, but it is a decent amount of damage and it is pretty easy to proc. But yeah, that's Desperate Measures. It's an interesting perk, and I think it would work well for classes that have lots of abilities to spend and that you can refund fairly often, so things like Solar Titan, like you just saw, or something like Arc Hunter. Though, at the same time, it is a fair amount of work for a buff that lasts only six seconds, and if you were just getting kills with the SMG, you'd only get a 10% damage buff that lasts for six seconds, whereas Master of Arms is 15%, and you can trigger it with any weapon, and it also lasts for uh, like I think one more second. So I'm not too sure about this perk, maybe not the best on this SMG, but it is interesting at least. In terms of closing thoughts, like I said in my other video, I don't think this should be your priority when grinding the weapons from Onslaught because like at the end of the day, it is just a void SMG that can be buffed by things like Jafalcons, but if you had a funnel web with subsistence frenzy, it was basically the same thing. And in terms of what I'm going to recommend, I would have to recommend frenzy because it is a decent damage buff for a primary weapon. And it also just gives you the best feeling weapon with the 100 handling and the 100 reload speed that it gives you. So personally, my god roll would have to be Frenzy, and then in the first column you could either do Repulsor Brace if you wanted to combine it with a Hunter build, or you could go for Subsistence if you really wanted to get a little bit more out of your kills, but yeah. Having Frenzy is a must if you're actually going for this weapon, and then the first column is more down to your personal preference. You could even go for Threat Detector for example. I think probably Subsistence Frenzy is the way to go, or if you're on a Hunter, Repulsor Frenzy is the way to go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. I don't normally do these live commentary videos, so uh, let me know what you think down in the comments, uh, if you like the style or not, uh, just so I can get some feedback. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, Into the Light as much as I am. I think the new Onslaught activity is pretty cool, outside of the error codes, of course. Uh, but yeah, so thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Your support means the world. And if you're really into the content I create, consider becoming a member of the channel, which not only lets you support me in the best way possible, it also nets you a whole host of awesome perks along with it. A massive shout out to these members up on screen and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now dear viewer.